Hello, my gorgeous Libras. This is Debs and this is your reading for mid-May 2023. Libra, I hope you're well. Um, Libra, I started recording this reading at 1555, 1555, which always denotes change. I also heard a car alarm go off the minute I sat down. Now, somebody could be slightly, literally nervous about change. Oh my goodness, okay, car alarm going off. Oh, do I really want to do this? I feel, Libra, that someone that you know is wanting to develop a relationship with you. The problem is they may not know if they can fit into your world and vice versa. Now, I could be connecting with someone who is highly intuitive Maybe you're a light worker. Maybe you've got a channel on YouTube. I don't know. It could be that you simply are very connected to your spirituality. It could be that you are firmly a believer. It could be that you like to talk about soulmates, twin flames, the angels, the archangels. And I don't think we're dealing with somebody who doesn't believe. But this is someone who is firmly rooted in the material. They're very grounded and they're just not sure whether or not this is going to work out. But they want to make it work with you. So they've been sitting on the fence. They've been in their head. And this may be the point of time, Libra, that they actually approach you to try and figure out if you are very much connected to the angels, the archangels, you're very intuitive. Are you still grounded? Okay, they really need to know because for them, that's quite important. So Libra, let's get into this reading and see what comes through. Really interesting vision. Here we go, guys. The deck that I'm using is the Tarot Royale by Chiro Marchetti. Um, if for those of you, you want a private reading, you can reach me. My website link is in the description box below. And if you want to join the channel, I put out weekly ad-free videos for $9.99 a month. So if you really fancy that, the join button is on my channel and the link is also in the description box, okay? Yeah, Libra, I'm just seeing this guy wandering around a house deep in thought. Do I really believe in what they believe in? Is it going to be a massive issue if I'm not sure? <laughs> Libra. All right, here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is mid-May 2023. <laughs> Cedric's jumping up and down next to me. He's saying, of course, of course you're a believer. Well, Cedric, I'm a believer, but whoever I'm connecting to may not be sure. Okay. All right. I'm seeing someone going on the internet and looking up numbers, duplicate numbers. Maybe this is someone who's been seeing duplicate numbers, Libra. They're wavering. Oh, why am I seeing these duplicate numbers? Okay, Libra, you could be connecting with somebody who is going through an ascension, going through awakening. Hmm. Maybe they're beginning to believe when they didn't before, but there's still a little bit of nervous energy. <laughs> Libra. All right, nine of coins. Libra, they see you as strong. They see you as someone who is grounded. But it's very interesting. Look at that hawk on this woman's wrist. Now that is a creature that cannot see. Birds are also to do with communication. Hmm, okay. The Wheel of Fortune. They believe, Libra, that you are somehow meant to be in their life as a partner, a future partner. Basically, Libra, they feel as if they've met the one, but you are not in inverted commas, like the rest. You are an enigma. You are unique. And even though this person has a lot of interest in your life, what you do, how you think, your opinions, your beliefs, they don't know if you two would actually be able to form 
a serious relationship going forward because this is somebody definitely ensconced in the reality of life. Whereas you may be, in the nicer sense, on a slightly higher plane. I don't think there's any arrogance to you whatsoever. They're intrigued by this, but they're also a little bit nervous about this. In the past, the fool. Now, this is somebody who may have moved towards you, wanting a little bit of fun. You might have pushed them away, Libra, or you could simply have connected with an Aries in the past. After that time, Queen of Cups. I think you opened up your heart to this person, Libra. You could have Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio in your chart, your natal chart, maybe Moon Rising Venus. You were very interested in this person and you moved into this connection easily. You two got on really well. In your thoughts is the Eight of Swords. Now, Libra, this is this person moving towards you, which actually gets you up in your head. In the immediate future, Libra, Nine of Wands, okay. You may have a lot on your plate, Libra. You could be running your own business. I believe I'm connecting with a Libra who is somehow very successful in the work that they do. I feel I'm connecting with a feminine Libra, if you wondered. But it is potentially relating to the Wheel of Destiny, Lightworker abilities. I think you're very busy. In your fears, yeah, Five of Swords, you don't want anyone selfish rushing towards you or somebody who is wanting to escape another situation or who doesn't have good intentions. You're a little bit nervous about this person yourself, Libra. Now, in their energy, Three of Swords. Libra, they may have chosen someone else and they're heartbroken because they realise you're the one. Or this is someone who wants to be with you, but they somehow feel that you two may not be, in the nicer sense, on the same page, okay? This is somebody who's thinking, if I introduce Libra to friends, family, all that type of thing, are they, I'm hearing, I'm sorry, Libra, are they going to start talking about God and the angels? They're a bit nervous about that. Even though they themselves may well be going through an awakening, they just don't know if you two will be a good match going forward, moving this into a relationship. Okay, in your hopes, Eight of Cups, hoping that somebody will actually travel to see you, you could know that this person lives at a distance, or hoping that they have walked away from another situation they may have been in before. Eight of Coins. Libra, you are an enigma. I'm connecting with a Libra here who is highly intuitive, believes in destiny, believes in the higher realm, very intuitive. But Libra, I've got to say, you are also a businesswoman. I mean, you're all about your pentacles. So you may find it very easy to shift between the veils. You are very grounded. And I think that's what's confusing this person. <laughs> Clarification for you. Yes, you are an empress. Oh my Lord, you are an empress. Taurus Libra energy. You're highly intuitive. You've learned a lot of lessons. You're all about change. You give birth to new ideas and you're ready. You're ready for commitment. Two of Cups. Libra, you may have quiet feelings for this person who is sort of standing on the periphery of your life, not sure if they're ready to move into your life. 
You may already know that you're in love with this person, Libra, but you may have either felt they were involved with somebody else, they could have leapt towards you impulsively, and you readily gave your heart, but maybe there was someone else involved. Or you felt that they were holding back from you, maybe because of the work that you do or your spiritual beliefs. This person is now realising they made a mistake and they are wanting back into your life. In this person's energy, yeah, Ten of Wands. They're extremely burdened. They may be ready to completely end another connection or they're burdened because they know they let you go and you are simply the one. Three of Wands. They've been trying to make a decision, Libra. Do I jump on that ship? That ship is you. Do I make this work with Libra? Take a bit of a risk. I'm not sure if our lives would run in parallel successfully. Or should I just dream of being with Libra knowing that it can't possibly work out? All they do know, Libra, is that they are very, very sad and upset that you're not in their life. And I think this person has been seeing duplicate numbers, signs and synchronicities from the universe, which makes them feel that you two are actually supposed to be together. They may have been seeing these signs, Libra, shortly after the two of you disconnected which may have made this person wonder whether or not what you believe in is actually true. I've got to be honest, Libra, they may not have known before. They may have said, oh, yes, I believe in the divine and the angels, in twin flame energies, in soulmate energies. But privately, Libra, they may not have. I've got to say that. OK. Mm. This is somebody now full of regret. Underneath the deck, we've got the Emperor. Wow. Aries energy. This is somebody ready to take charge for what, Libra? For their happiness. Leo energy. This is somebody who may be going through an awakening. This is somebody who may understand they are a true divine masculine. It's suddenly a sharp wake up call. Oh my goodness, I think we are supposed to be together. But there's still a fear that you will not fit into their life and they will not fit into your life. Underneath that is the page of coins. They could be coming in with a gift to apologise for sort of rushing out of your life, potentially. They could be wanting to come in to talk to you about the fact they have a child with someone. Would that work with you, Libra, if I was to leave my person? Because they're still hanging on to a cycle. How would you feel about that? This could be somebody coming towards you, Libra, to offer you friendship as I'm hearing step one. Step one. So here you are, my beautiful Libras, concentrating on you, self-care, self-nurture. You're sitting in the nine of pentacles, the empress energy. So you have a lot of success, material success relating to what you do. And I feel with this wheel of destiny, Change is about to happen. Remember, 1555, change is about to happen. A destined turn of events in your favour. I think relating to this person coming in to talk. We've got the emperor and the empress on the board, guys. So let's see, Libra, how you're feeling at this moment. How is Libra feeling at this moment? Eight of Wands. Libra, you may be receiving a lot of downloads from the divine. You could be extremely telepathic. You may have found that your abilities have increased over the last few years. You are going to be contemplating a series of messages coming in, Libra. You're going to be contemplating messages coming in. Strength card. Possibly from a Leo, or you are going to need a lot of strength and confidence to open the door to this person again. Who is this person, Michael? Okay, a knight of coins. Somebody coming in who wants to offer you commitment. They may be younger than you, Libra. You may be nervous about that. How is Libra feeling? Okay. 
Well, you're feeling that you're the high priestess, so you could indeed be extremely intuitive. You may wonder if this person is hiding anything from you. Six of Cups, this person's coming back from the past. This is someone you've known before. The Chariot could be a Cancerian, or this is somebody who lives at a distance who is deciding to move towards you. Goodness me. So in the past, Libra, you may have formed a connection with an Aries, strong Aries with a fool and the Emperor, or you took a leap of faith and a risk with someone that you felt was simply a lot of fun. You got on really well. Who was this person? Who was this person? Yes, a King of Wands. Very attractive. A lot of attraction between the two of you, King and Queen of Wands. Nine of Cups, a lot of happiness. I'm hearing instant soul recognition. Wow. You may have thought this was your person, Libra, but you may later have realised, Libra, that he simply wanted to be indulged. Okay. I think this was a disappointment for you in the end. Yeah, Page of Swords. So there was a difficult message of truth. You either found out that he was still somehow involved in a karmic relationship or he may have simply disconnected from you without a good reason and you were confused. I think with the Queen of Cups, you kept your heart open, Libra. I think you waited for this person to come back and develop things with you. Maybe make a change to a situation they were in. But instead, with the Five of Coins, they simply left you out in the cold. There was no continuation of this. What was on Libra's mind? Magician. Okay. They simply manifested a short-term connection with me. That's all they wanted. And I have to cope with that. But you did move forward manifesting a very successful business of some kind. Nine of Pentacles, Empress. That's a lot of abundance. But with the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune, this is you using your abilities potentially to give yourself a firm foundation in the material. Yeah. Now, what you're thinking about, because this person's coming in and coming in fast, is the Eight of Swords. What do I do about this? Do I trust this person? What is their situation now? I mean, it may well be, Libra, that you haven't spoken to this person for the longest time. How is Libra feeling? How is Libra feeling? The world. You thought that this cycle was over. Or are you wondering, Libra, whether or not this person has learned all their lessons and they're now coming back to you? The Death card, Scorpio. Has this person gone through ascension and transformed their life, understanding that this was a very powerful connection that they left behind? You're confused. What do I do? Is this over? Can we transform the situation? Has this person ended another relationship? King of Cups. Is this person coming back because they realise they love me? Or is this person coming back to romance me maybe again? You're nervous. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. But I have to say, guys, that already we've got the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands and the King of Cups. All we need is the King of Swords and then we have an Emperor. Now, the King of Swords is all about communication the light bulb going off, aha moment, clarity. I think this is a king who was wanting clarity, that you are as grounded as they hope you are, even if you are dealing with the fifth dimension in terms of a job, okay? Because if you are, they feel ready in terminating another relationship in order to offer you commitment. They just need to make sure that for them, this isn't a bad idea, okay? It all depends what type of light worker you are. If you're a light worker who finds it easy to move between the veils, but you are actually very grounded, 
You know, you concentrate on your foundation, your environment, your pet, if you're a single mom, your kids, you know, that sort of thing. Or are you, and I say this with love, are you the sort of light worker who wakes up surrounded in a fog of Palo Santo, chants for most of the day, and isn't actually very interested in the reality of this life, much more interested in the fifth dimension. That's a different type of light worker. Nothing wrong with that, but this is someone who is extremely grounded in the here and now, and they want to find out which type of light worker you are. They think that you're a very grounded light worker. Nine of Pentacles, Empress. So let's have a look at timing, Libra. Archangel Michael, when do we have the Nine of Wands next to the Three of Swords? This is a really challenging energy, dual energy to deal with for you guys. Do we have timing, Michael? Thank you. 3rd of June, okay, pretty soon. 6th of June, 12th of June. Libra, you may receive an email. This person may not have your number or you may have blocked this person years ago. This is not somebody that you disconnected from a couple of months ago, Libra. So for those of you in that situation, this is not your reading. Libra, you may not have seen this person or even communicated with them for years. Minimum three years you have not seen this person. So on those dates or within that period of time, they're feeling a little bit heartbroken and I think it's because they're not sure if it's going to work with you. They're not sure if you're single still. They don't know if you're going to close the door in their face. They don't know if you're simply going to ignore their communication. You're quite stressed, Libra. You seem to have a lot on your plate. Nine of Wands is you're tired, you're weary, you've been through a lot of lessons. You may be running a successful business, but you're exhausted. Okay, so this is a little bit of a challenging energy. Both of you are sitting in separately. Let's find out how this person is feeling. <laughs> I'm laughing, guys, because you've got the two of swords. And what I'm hearing is they see through the veil. They see through the veil, okay? This is somebody who may be understanding that you two are supposed to be together. They may not have totally believed in the fifth dimension before. Now they are potentially realizing that maybe you were right all along. They may have not told you in the past, Libra, but they may not have felt as if they believed what you believed in, okay? They are wanting to make a decision. What is their energy? What is their energy, Michael? Judgment, yes. Now, they may be receiving judgment from the divine in not actually believing in the fifth dimension when they met you. They're now realising that they may have been wrong. They're also hearing messages from the divine relating to you. And they're ready to make a judgment call about their situation. Mm, Libra. Could be a Sag with a judgment card. The devil. They're being judged by the divine for sitting in unhealthy toxic energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. This is someone who realises, Libra, that they let a really good person go. Also somebody who is kind, caring, nurturing and financially stable. On top of an intense attraction between the two of you, what else could they want? You tick all their boxes and they're realising that they have to make a decision to release someone else in order to offer you a clean connection. Yeah. They're wanting a long-term commitment with you. That's the king of coins, which means the other card I saw was the knight of coins. So they're wanting long-term commitment. Why do I feel as if they are still connected to someone else, though? They're sitting in the ten of wands. Okay, this could be a Virgo. 
or simply the Ten of Wands denotes that they may have just decided to be young, free and single. Yeah, sitting in the King of Wands energy, wanting to be indulged. This is someone who regrets walking away from you, Libra. Now, this is also someone who may be going through the dark night of the soul. What is their energy? Three of coins. Yeah, they want to work on rebuilding this foundation with you, Libra, but they're not sure how you're going to take it. Is Libra going to ignore? Ignore my message? Temperance, Sagittarian energy. They're working on bringing balance to their life. They could definitely be now connecting to the angels. Four of Wands, yes, wow, Libra. Now, if we look at this from a very simple point of view, if they are in a relationship with someone else, they could be in a relationship with a Sag or a Virgo, they could be living with this person, and they are now thinking about disconnecting from that person because they realise you're the one. Or this is someone, I have to say, who's suddenly realising that they do believe in twin flames. They do believe in soulmates. They're seeing and hearing messages from the divine. And they are realising you two are divine twins. I mean, this is 1111. Emperor and Empress. The temperance angel is underneath that. Judgment is underneath that. A lot of divine guidance. So Libra, they're coming in wanting to talk to you about a potential relationship, having maybe disregarded you before. I think the Ten of Wands is then burdened because they know they may have to disconnect from someone else or they're burdened because they realise, Libra, that they were wrong. They may have gone away thinking, oh, well, I don't know if I believe in archangels and angels and twin flames. I don't believe any of that. And then suddenly seeing signs and synchronicities, which made them do a very quick about turn. Oh, my goodness, what is happening to me? You know? Yeah. You're at this point of time, Libra, sat in the nine of wands. You're tired. You're weary. You could be working, working, working to build your own stability. Or you may be very burdened by this person coming back in because this could be somebody, Libra, that you fell for in the past and they walked away from you. So how is Libra feeling? I do believe this is going to be an email, guys. I don't think this is someone who may have your number or you may have blocked them on your phone. And I don't think, Libra, this is somebody who lives close by. So they may email you. So Libra, you're sat in the Nine of Wands. What is that about? The Two of Wands, yes. Yes. Can I trust this person? Are they still connected to someone else? You've got a decision to make. You have a decision to make. Libra, you're going to be asking some very straight questions. That's your Queen of Swords energy. What is Libra going to be asking this person? I want the truth. Ace of Swords. Have you ended another situation? Are you coming back to me to express what really happened in the past? What is Libra asking? Seven of Wands. Why did you push me away before? You're very nervous, Libra, that this person is going to bring some kind of chaos or drama into your life. You don't need it. You're very stable as you are. You're working extremely hard and I think you're sitting in a pretty peaceful energy. It's as if, <sighs> Libra, you're thinking, well, yes, it's a dream come true. This person's coming back to me, but it could also be my greatest nightmare. Are they going to treat me well? Are they going to try and be deceptive? You just don't know what to think. What is Libra thinking? What is Libra thinking? Yes, exactly. Five of Wands. You're all up in your head. What do I do? Is this person going to bring chaos into my life? Can I trust this? Have they changed? Are they single? You don't know, Libra. What is the energy between these two people? 
Yeah, reconciliation. Rare conciliation. They want to come back into your life and they want to see if this is going to work with you. Yeah. Let's have a look at the Eight of Coins. Libra, after this communication, this conversation, it may just be two or three emails. I think you're going to be saying to this person that it's probably a good idea to meet up, if that's possible. You're very busy working with the Eight of Coins. What is Libra thinking about? The star. You could be thinking about an Aquarius Libra or you are sitting in star energy. Very calm, working hard. What you're thinking about is this person seems to want to put in the effort in mending the situation with me. But somehow you're a bit nervous about that. <laughs> you're a bit nervous. All right. Knight of Cups. They're going to be extremely romantic with you, Libra. Why do I feel you're guarded? Why is Libra guarded? Because with the two of coins, you're still not sure you trust them. You're going to spend a little bit of time, Libra, thinking about the past. All the effort you put into this connection. Should I give this person a chance? You don't know. What is Libra thinking about? You could be thinking of a Pisces. You could have Pisces in your chart. You're thinking that this person made no movement for quite a long time. You may also feel, though, Libra, that you've been self-sacrificing and working hard on your own. Maybe for some of you, you're thinking, is it time that I open the door to love? It's just been me. How is this person feeling about Libra? I think they feel they missed a big opportunity. We've got twin flame cups there. I think this person knew that they left you very confused, possibly heartbroken. The moon, with no clarity as to why they pulled away from you or whether or not you'd ever see them again. They know they didn't leave you in a good place, Libra. I think that they are regretful now because they know that you don't trust them. What is this person saying to Libra? That they want this with you, Ace of Coins? Now this is also potentially somebody wanting to uproot themselves to start again in another area. They could be thinking of moving to be where you are. Yes. Yes. So this is very specifically for somebody who is connected to another person who lives at a distance. They may be making a life changing move to be in your area. Now, Libra, it may not be just because of you. It could be because they simply feel they're ready for a move. It could be because they found a great job in your area. What they're thinking, Libra, is, well, if I'm going to be in the same area as Libra and I am ready to commit maybe detach from someone else, this has a really good chance of working. Whereas maybe for whatever reason, it couldn't work before. So this is someone quite practical. What are they saying to Libra, Michael? The justice card, that you're the one, this is your energy. They may want to try and balance out the scales, bring justice to the situation. Maybe they know they left you heartbroken before. Libra, this may also be someone who was telling you that they've got a job in your area. I.e. this could really work. Because if before Libra you were in different cities, different states, different countries, even if you wanted it to work, maybe they felt it never would. It's just not practical. This is a very practical individual. Hence why initially they may be nervous because I think Libra, whoever you are out there, you are running some kind of light worker business. But they want to balance the scales. Yes. And we have finally the King of Swords. Now that is somebody who speaks his truth. That also means that we've got four kings on the board, an emperor and an empress. 
What is this person going to say to Libra? Knight of Wands. Libra, they're going to be honest with you. Okay, they're going to be honest. What they're going to say is, King of Swords, Knight of Wands, yes, to be honest with you, initially I moved towards you, Libra, because I was highly attracted to you, but then I realised I missed you. Then I was thinking about the distance between the two of us. It wasn't practical. Then I thought about the business that you were running, maybe a light worker business. I didn't know if we would be on the same page, if this would really work between us. And then... I started seeing signs and synchronicities which made me rethink my own beliefs. And so after all of that, Libra, they're coming back around to you. But this is someone, I have to be straight with you, who is being completely honest. Yes, I was sat in the Knight of Wands before, that is true, but now everything's changed and I want to be with you. So Libra, you have a decision to make as to whether or not you're going to accept this person into your life. The ball is totally in your court. So guys, from here, I think we'll move straight into messages, okay? So Libra, I'm going to start with Deep, Dark and Dangerous Oracle Stacey DeMarco. I want to figure out what shadow energy this person is needing to manage. And for you too, okay? So Archangel Michael, what shadow energy is this person trying to overcome in order to be with Libra? Gratification, yes. This is someone who simply wanted to be indulged. This is somebody who may be all about the material in the past. Four and a zero at the top there is about stability. This is somebody who may have been sunk in the material to such an extent that they became a little bit egotistical, all about the flashy car, the designer clothes, the money in the bank. They've had to take control of that shadow energy. Hmm. Disconnection. This is someone who I think has been held up by the divine for cutting off from you, possibly very sharply. This is someone who's also felt very alone, maybe because they've been all about the material. And this is someone who may now be seeing their life as quite empty. Well, OK, I've got a beautiful car, but there's no substance. There's nothing underneath that. It's all show. This is what the divine has revealed to them about their life and about themselves. What else do we have in terms of shadow energy this person is working on? The darkness. Okay, well, this is shadow in itself. This is somebody who needed to close out an old cycle of sitting in their shadow because they have suddenly been shown the light by the divine. This is also their third eye opening. Their third eye opening. A final card, please, for the person that Libra is dealing with, their shadow. Boundary, okay. This is someone who simply put up a very strong boundary against you, Libra, out of fear, out of worry that you would see who they really were. This is also somebody who may have overstepped boundaries countless times. So they're working on that side of their shadow. Let's see what you're working on, Libra. What is Libra working on in terms of their own shadow? Okay, illumination. Libra, you're being called by the divine to make a change pertaining to your own ability. It may well be, Libra, that previously you may have been so sad, so upset, so distraught, that you may have used negative word strings relating to this person, calling them out, telling other people how they treated you, overblowing what they did to you, maybe. This was you not using your power in quite the right way. 
okay? Slipping a little bit into the shadow, trying to manifest change on your terms. They want you to really think about that. Use your power completely for the good. Not to try and manipulate, not to try and make changes. Really think about the good use of your own abilities. Really think about how you're using the power that you've been given by the divine and make sure that you're using your power in the right way. What other shadow energies does Libra need to consider? Synergy. Libra, it may well be that sometimes people see you as this sweet, innocent lamb. Other people see you as this roaring tiger with your fangs out, okay? They want you to sit in a much more balanced energy because that is naturally the energy you feel comfortable in, a balanced energy. So maybe sometimes this person didn't know if you were, you know, a really lovely person, very kind hearted, very open, very giving or somebody who hated them, somebody who wished them ill, somebody who may have tried to manipulate in some way the energy they sat in to get what they wanted, for you to get what you wanted. They didn't know. They were very confused. So the divine is saying you need to just balance your energy, Libra, step out of any shadow, take control of any negative cycles of behavior that you've been sat in. And if you can manage to do that and your person can work on their shadow, this has a good chance of working out. So guys, I'm moving into Twin Flame Mirror Dialogue Oracle Deck because I do believe that this is a Twin Flame connection. No doubt. Four of Wands. Dark Knight of the Soul with a Hermit card, Judgment by the Divine, Temperance Angel coming in to try and balance all these energies and the Emperor and the Empress. So what would the masculine want to say to Libra? I'm healing old issues. So this is someone taking control of negative past cycles. They are afraid to open their heart, but I feel the divine is working on that with them. You simply inspire this person, Libra. You inspire this person. Final message from this person to Libra. I love you, but I'm not sure how this is going to change my life. Yes, again, they're nervous because you two may live completely different lives. Completely different. You may live partly beyond the veil, partly in this world as a light worker. This person may simply have a nine to five job. How is this going to work? Are we on the same page? But I think they want to try it, Libra, because this is someone who firmly believes that you two now are actually supposed to be together. So this is beautiful. All right, Libra, it's been a gorgeous reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, take care of you. Sending love and light your way. And I will be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye, Libra.